This review has been approved by Lord Carnage. Welcome to Classic Game Room for this irreverent review of an amazing piece of plastic that completes your Model 1 Sega Genesis if hooked up to a Model 2 Sega CD. Alright, dig it. So you've got what's referred to as a Sega CD Model 2, which looks like this thing. An external CD drive built into a piece of plastic that plays amazing Sega CD games like Robo Alest as long as your Sega Genesis is plugged into it. Let me demonstrate by hooking up my Sega Genesis Model 2, which is the smaller, cheaper Sega Genesis that fits perfectly onto the Sega CD adapter Model 2. Now let me wreck things by hooking up my Model 1 Sega Genesis, which is the larger Genesis and, in my opinion, the better one. This one has been modified, but watch closely as I plug it into the Sega CD Model 2. It works, but it doesn't properly fit. Because part of your Genesis will be spilling over the edge, this thing muffin tops. How can you live your life knowing that your Sega Genesis is wearing pants one size too small? I mean, it, it works just fine. I've, I've been enjoying this for years, but for entertaining review purposes, this is unacceptable and needs to be fixed. Thankfully, there's this convenient piece of plastic, which I've seen online, called the Sega Genesis Model 1 Extender for Sega CD Model 2 or something like that. And this is what it does. It extends the base of your Sega CD Model 2 in order to fit your fat Sega Genesis Model 1. Why should it lose weight when it doesn't have to? I say the same thing about myself. Now your Sega Genesis is earthquake proof. The left side will not sag or lose confidence in its game playing abilities because there's a piece of plastic beneath it. I, I think originally this thing would have come with a plate that also screwed into it, but since I don't have that, I'm going to fix this problem with Mark Engineering duct tape. Is there anything duct tape can't do? That's a rhetorical question. The answer is no. There's, a, there's nothing duct tape can't do. It solves all problems in existence. And now my Model 1 perfectly fits onto the Model 2 Sega CD base. Let me be clear, you absolutely do not need this. In fact, you're better off spending the 15 or 20 bucks that you could spend on this on another Sega Genesis game. But it would make a cool gift item for that Sega fanboy or fangirl in your life. And perhaps if you spend a lot of time admiring your Genesis Model 1, which you should because it's a gorgeous game system, then maybe it's worth spending on perfection. I'd spend my money on another game, but I've still got a classic game room shout out and thank you to send to my man Frank from San Leandro, California for sending this to the show. Thank you, Frank. My Sega Genesis and Sega CD are now complete, almost, except for that missing plate on the bottom now. Oh no! I know, I know, it's a bit unnecessary, but really, you could spend your money on sillier things, like a Super Nintendo. But dum 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 tss. I had to bring it back to the glory days of the console war because Sega does what Nintendo don't. It has a little piece of plastic that increases blast processing. <laughs> <laughs>